Welcome to my voice logs, my vlogs on pulse.com.gh. So Justin, how did you get into presenting? It, it was uh, by accident. Okay. Um, I, I, I wanted something to do. I've always had a flair for, I love cameras. I love being in front of the camera. So, um, you know, there was an audition going on in Chatter House. I auditioned and then the next day I was put on TV and that was it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess the rest they say is history. Yeah. But yeah, that's how I, um, I stumbled on it and then I grew to love it. And yeah. then I, I worked on it and I'm still working on it. Yeah. yeah. Are there any women in the industry that you look up to? In Ghana or in general? In Ghana. <clears throat> um, yes. Um, I've always looked up to Gifty Auntie. Um, I love what she represents. I love that she's a woman empowered. I love the fact that you know she doesn't allow society and our norms according to yeah. society sort of define who she is as a woman. I love the fact that she tries to change lives um, in her own small way. I remember one time we were, uh, there was an honorary party done for a select 10 women and I was privileged to be part of the 10 women and um, you know, even though she came there and it was a celebration, she came out and she's like, okay guys, I know this is tacky, but there's a lady who has to go to nursing school and she can't afford her fees. So I'm here and I'm humbly begging you guys to just dip into your pockets and here, put something in here. So let's raise some funds for this girl. And for me, I, I had tears in my eyes because I'm like, wow, you know, even though she's all glommed up and she's yeah. dressed up and she's been honored for being the woman, the strong woman that she is, she's actually out here. Um, trying to make someone's life better yeah. and um, yeah so I I look up to her a lot you know we speak every now and then she's I mean I think yesterday she sent me a whatsapp saying I'm watching you from a distance I'm like I love you too <laughs> you know but um, yeah I look up to her I, I look up to um, you know a lot of these actors that were before me you know the Jackie Appears and Nadia Bwari's, um, Yvonne Okoro's um, for me working with them was sort of like a way uh, of I, I learned mm -hmm. from them, you know. Um, I look up to people like Inima Misa. She's been in the industry for time. Yeah. She's timeless, you know. She looks amazing. She sounds amazing. She's an amazing actress. And, um, you know, I, every time I'm on set, I feel like I'm back in school because I'm learning. I pick and learn yeah. from all the people that I act with. And, um, you know, I look up to Danny Tareskins mm -hmm. because they have been doing it for mm -hmm. years before uh, the likes of me came in. And I think that they probably even opened the doors uh, for, for people like me to even have um, a chance to want to pursue um, a career yeah. in presenting um, and acting for that matter. So yes, every I guess every woman, especially in the industry, is is worth celebrating and I look up to all of us, you know. The Shirley Vimpo Mantos, you know, I've watched how, uh, you know, resilient she is where movie production is concerned. I've watched how she's able to perform magic with little or probably sometimes no budget at all. Yeah. Um, I've, I've seen what she's done in terms of revolutionizing the industry with her movies. You know, she set the pace. Um, this, and you know, yesterday I had a meeting with um, Nicola Martinfield, the lady, uh, the producer, director for An African City. Yeah. And she says to me that, it looks as if there's there's, an, there's there's a revolution. It's just women. Yeah. You know, there's a Leila Jansi, there's a Shelley Pompo Mansos, and there's Nicola Martinfield, there's Julieta Santi, who are working tirelessly to give the, the industry a facelift. You know what I'm saying? And they're doing an amazing job with little or no money at all. Because the thing is, you know, we don't we we don't have a union that sort of that is well structured to even yeah. look after these artists and even the producers. We don't have a, a production house that will say, look, we're giving you a million dollars to yeah. go and to produce this X yeah. amount of movies or whatever it is. So most of these producers would have to, I produce myself and I okay. know what it feels like to just have to like, you know, dig into your pockets and pay for something you believe in, yeah. you know what I mean? And, um, you know, kudos to them. I really look after these women, you know, because it's, a, it's amazing the magic that's coming and obviously the Joyce I who has become like the epitome of grace, strength, beauty, yeah. um, um, you know, the fear of God and and everything that's positive. Yeah. Or you know, she's just she's just a woman empowered, a woman of substance, a woman worth emulating. I, I wanna be like her when I grow up or probably even yeah. better. <laughs>
<laughs> and I know that my, my even my children will look up to women yeah. like that when 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 they when, when they grow up. So yeah, you know we have some amazing. And you know the funny thing I've mentioned only women. We're taking over. I'm just exactly. Kidding. People I'm looking up to yeah. in the industry. Women. Yeah, know. women I guess. So we'll do the men. We'll leave that separate. We'll do the men later. <laughs> but I mean, exactly. and I look up to a few men. Yeah. Trust me. Don't get me wrong. I mean, there's a lot of, of men who have done a lot. Um, in our industry and for Ghana as a whole, Definitely. you know, so yeah. Excellent. Yeah, Thank you. thanks.